Boom shakalaka. Welcome back to Austin Automates. A lot of you have been asking the question, what is Closebot? Dot AI. Closebot is the number one AI bot booking platform. And if you're a high level user, you've probably heard of Zappy Chad and Capri and all of these other AI booking bots. One of the things that I did was I went into a couple different Facebook groups that talk about different AI booking bots. And I pulled all of the comments from a whole bunch of different questions of what's the best booking bot? What's the best this? Who does this? Who uses that? And I put all of the questions, all of the responses inside of chat GPT. And and I was like, who is the best? And ChatGPT spit, I was like, by far, based on what hundreds of comments are saying, is that Closebot is the number one AI bot booking platform. And I want to dive in and show you why, because they have a drag and drop platform, that platform that makes it super easy to build out bots. Again, it seamlessly integrates into high level. I think to this day, it's booked over 50,000 appointments. And it has this really cool multi-objective platform where it basically takes the user through these different objectives and is able to fill out information and plug it into high levels custom fields without needing to do anything super special. And the coolest thing is they offer a free trial of this. So you get to use it absolutely free. Find out if you like it, find out if it works for you. So let's just dive right in. Let me show you what Closebot AI looks like. This right here is the Closebot dashboard. I'm not gonna do a super deep dive, but it's really cool because it shows you the different conversations that your bot has been having, whether it's through text message, SMS, whether it's been on your chat widget. And the dashboard here shows you how many credits you've used, how many responses, how many follow-ups, how many appointments have been set. And then it's cool because then it shows you like these little different benchmarks that you're hitting. And this is just the dashboard. Now, the coolest thing is it makes it super simple. You can have multiple bots that you're working on. And like I said, it seamlessly integrates into high level. So if I hit modify bot here, here's what's awesome. First of all, it gives me a couple different options of which models I would like to use. So if I would like to use the open AI credits that come with the Closebot account, and I don't wanna have to get my own API key and I just wanna buy credits through the Closebot account, I can do that. Or I can get my own open AI API key, which is a little bit cheaper. And I have that option too. I can also get my Anthropics API key, or I can use Anthropic credits. So I have the different options, whether or not I actually want to use the Closebot credits, or if I want to get my own API key and use that. Either way, the prompting stays the same. Now, the coolest thing is, but one of the cool things, I keep saying the coolest thing, another cool thing is you have these general settings. Leave conversation as unread, multi-objective handling, conversation rescheduling, always aware, bot off manually. So this is one thing that I like personally is bot off on manual reply. A lot of other bot platforms that I used, whenever someone would jump in and manually reply from high level, the bot would still keep responding. This is now smart enough to where if someone jumps in on high level and decides to respond to a conversation, the AI will actually shut off via a tag. And you could actually switch that off if you don't want it to switch off, you could turn it back on. It's really up to you, but it's cool because they make it super simple to do that. You can label your bot, you can name your bot, you can have how often, how long the bot is able to be used, response delays, the frequency AI typos. This is actually pretty cool. So it can make a typo error, like and misspell something and then say, sorry, and then, re and then fix the spelling. So it looks like a human and it's cool. You have a bunch of different options. Then when we jump into integrate, this is how simple it is to integrate into high level. I literally just hit add new. It, I, if you're, you have to be logged, it's easier if you're logged into high level in the same browser. And then I just hit add new. It's going to give me a drop down of which sub account I want to connect to. I connect to that sub account. Boom. Now Closebot is connected to my high level account. So boom. Now I'm connected. And this is where I actually can connect my open AI API key or my Anthropic API key. And it keeps it really simple. It's all in one spot. Now I have the detect options where contact is becoming aggressive. Contact saying goodbye. Contact is a spam or phishing. Contact likely another bot. Contact reach the end of the objectives. And what it does is it sets these different tags and what's really cool is the second you integrate Closebot into high level, it puts all of these tags automatically in there. So it's not like you have to upload some snapshot and do all of that. It does that awesome automatically. And then you can set some custom scenarios based on your specific preferences on what you want the bot to detect and then turn the bot off. If something happens and you want to turn off because of that specific thing, you can do that here. Now, the main prompting is I want to choose a bot. I could choose a bot voice. I have a drop down. I could choose be a little bit more concise, relaxed, friendly, professional, and basically choose the bot voice. 
Now, this is where I want to, I don't want to give it all the details about exactly what my bot's going to be doing. But first of all, I want to have why the conversation is happening. So if I've built this bot to be a chat widget, um, uh, answer frequently asked questions on a chat widget, why is this conversation happening? I'm going to say someone is messaging my chat widget on my website and they're most, they're most likely wanting to answer, have some questions answered and scheduled. And then I'm going to put some important business information. Again, not every single detail about the, the, the business. Right now, I'm just prompting the bot's personality and they give you 1500 characters. If I want to load a bunch of data, that's what's going to be in the knowledge storage, but I'll get to that. And then how to respond. I, if I don't want the bot to constantly use the person's name over and over again, or if I want them to be a little bit more sincere, or I don't want them to tell them it's a bot, or I don't want them to ever bring up pricing, that's where I'm going to put all of that information here. Now, here is one of the best parts about this and what makes this so much easier than a lot of the other bot builders is there are these objective stages. So this one is connected to my website's chat widget. So on the chat widget, first thing I want them to do is if, if someone messages my chat widget and they're like, hey, I've got some questions about your business. The first thing the widget's gonna do is go, oh, hey, no problem. I'd ha be happy to answer your questions. Can I get your first name? It's gonna actually pull my first name. And what's really cool is because this is integrated into my high level, it's going to update that field name automatically. Now, if they're messaging and that field name's already updated, I can hit skip and it's gonna skip that objective. Then it's gonna move on to the next objective, which is, hey, which services are you inquiring about? And it's going to, it's they're gonna ask, hey, can you do this? Can you do this? Can you do this? And then it's gonna search the knowledge base that I've uploaded and it's gonna find out like whether or not it can actually do what they want it to do. And then I'm not gonna have it update any fields, which is really cool. If you don't want it to continue to asking questions, you can set max attempts and sensitivity that's a little bit more advanced. We'll go into that in some different trainings. Then once it finds out which service that that it's that they're going to provide, then my bot on my widget is going to ask them, hey, listen, if we get disconnected, what's a good email for you? I'd love to be able to stay connected just in case we get disconnected. And then it will update the email. And now once it's collected their name and their email, it creates them as a contact. It saves them as a contact right into high level. I don't have to do anything special. Then the next objective in my particular bot flow is booking. Now here is what's really awesome about the booking portion of it is I'm able to integrate one of my high level calendars. And so my bot is able to actually book a, an appointment conversationally right from the chat widget. It'll say, Hey, listen, we've got some time available on Friday. We've got some time available on Wednesday. What time works for you? And then it'll actually conversationally book an appointment. And when an appointment is actually booked, then, then I get a notification saying, hey, it's booked. They get a reminder saying it's booked. And if they're like, hey, I don't really want to book an appointment, I'll put max attempts too. So it, it'll try to book an appointment. But if they don't want to book an appointment, if I put set a max attempt, then it's not going to continue to do that. Then the next one is if they book an appointment, it's going to ask to collect their phone number because we are pushing to book a phone appointment. And then it'll say, hey, just so I have the right phone number for you, can I get your phone number? They enter their phone number, it updates that field, and then boom, now automatically it's actually been able to update that contact field inside of high level, which makes it really easy. Inside of the knowledge base, if you go to knowledge storage, inside of knowledge storage, I'm up, I'm able to upload text. So if I want to put a whole bunch of text and I put it in here, I hit upload, or I can upload a file that's already been created, or I can do a web scraper. I can actually put the domain of the website. So all of the information on the website will be scraped and it will be uploaded into that. So then when I go to modify bot and I've uploaded stuff into the knowledge base, now, when I go to knowledge, I'm able to select which one of these are, am, am I going to pull the knowledge base from? And so if the Wise Bear website was where I'm going to pull the knowledge base from, then that's where I'm going to pull, that's the one I'm going to select. And then you just hit save, make sure you always hit save, save. And then the next piece is follow-ups. This is actually a brand new feature, which is smart follow-up, which is absolutely going to blow my mind. So instead of having to build into the workflow that, hey, it's been 10 days, hey, it's been four days, hey, it's been three days and follow-up, I can now actually build this out right inside of Closebot. 
But smart follow-up gives the option to where if the person, if you reach out to the person and they get a message that says, hey, are you interested in blankety blank product? And they say, yeah, follow up with me on November or December 12th, 2025. Then the AI will all automatically put that into its queue to follow up on that date. You don't have to set it in a workflow. You don't have to do anything special. It'll do that. Now, if you want to actually set, I want to wait two days and then it'll follow up. And then I want to wait one day and then it'll follow up. I can set a bunch of these follow-ups to where I don't have to create a follow-up sequence inside of high level and then put it in the workflow two days later, follow up with this. And then it try to remember using tags and all of that information, what's how to follow up. It's already going to follow up based on all of the information it's collecting in this conversation. So that is a very brief rundown step-by-step -step of exactly what Closebot.ai is and how to integrate it, some of the cool features that it has. And then the cool thing is, like I said, you have the knowledge-based storage. You can test your bot right in here. I always do recommend when people test their AI bots that you test it through the channel that you've connected it to. And so I could come here and I could say, hey, can you, you help me answer some questions? Of course, may I have your full name to better see? So it's going to start to go through my objectives and it's going to pull my name. My name's Austin. Thanks, Austin. What questions do you have for me today? Can you build me an AI chat widget? Absolutely. We could definitely build you an AI chat widget. Could you share your last name and a bit more information about what you're looking in your widget? This way I may be able to help better assist you. Then it's going to take people through my objectives of collecting their information and collecting exactly what it is that they're looking for when it comes to landing on my website and talking with my chat widget. Cool thing about Closebot is you can white label it. If you have the white label version, you can white label this and you can create your own version just like high level where you are able to give people as many bots as possible. They do have a lot of help resources here. And just like high level, there's some feature requests and you can become an affiliate of Closebot. So that is it. That is exactly what closebot.ai is. It is the number one best AI bot builder to this day. And they are continuing to expand. Like I said, over 50,000 appointments have been booked using Closebot connected through SMS, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, you name it. And if you already have high level, the only thing you need is a Closebot account. And there is a free version of it. And the coolest thing is it takes two minutes to get it set up and get it connected. If you would like, I have a very easy step-by-step -step how you can get this connected, how you can get your first bot up and running. It takes one simple little workflow and I, I can show you step-by-step -step how to get it set up in less than two minutes. And the coolest thing is if you use my affiliate link to sign up for your free Closebot account, I've got quite a few extra trainings that I'm gonna throw in. We're gonna do how to get your AI assistant set up deep dive, how to set up the prompts and the objectives, missed call text back, database reactivation, reputation management, social media assistant, how to sell, and then how to actually sell these services to your customers for a very sticky offer. Uh, like I said, if you want it, it's absolutely free, two minute setup. Like I said, it takes two minutes to get this set up. And what I'm gonna do in a future training is I'm going to actually show you a very deep dive on my next YouTube video, how to get this set up in, in a deep detail. So if you wanna find out how to get this set up, the two minute version, go ahead, click the link in the description and I will show you step-by-step -step how to get this set up. If you want an extended version, check out my next YouTube video and it's going to show you details, how to get your, uh, even if you don't have your phone number set up in high level, how to get the workflow set up, how to get your bot connected, how to get the objective set up. I'm gonna show you step-by-step by step how to do that in the next video you guys have a great rest of your week and i look forward to seeing you in future trainings let's go make sure you uh click the link and get your free two minute guide on how to get this started today if you want to get your first a if you're not like brand new to this world and you're like hey listen i think i could figure this out this step-by-step -step video is going to get your first ai bot up and running in less than two minutes i look forward to seeing you click the link below get your free sop and we'll talk soon